Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Rachel Scott is back with us now. Rachel, you've been here since the beginning tonight. We were talking to each other during World News as the rally was just getting underway, and you've been getting these horrific stories from witnesses. And you're with another one tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we're with another uh, group of witnesses that saw what happened. I will tell you hours ago, this area right here was filled with Trump supporters eager waiting to go inside of that rally. Right now tonight, this is an area where Trump supporters are gathering. They're left with shock about what happened. Tell me what you saw inside. Yeah, I was just about like 30 feet from Trump, and then I saw the people that had been shot and they were bringing them down in the stands right above me, and I just didn't want to get down. I just kept standing, we but I shot. saw, we yeah, shot. I saw the man that was hit in the head, and he there was a lot of blood and things. I knew. Um, he was sitting actually behind Donald Trump in the bleachers today when this all unfolded. He, um, I'm going to let him share exactly what he saw. It was a very harrowing moment that he he was there for. Can you please tell us what happened, Joseph? Yeah, it was the Trump. Uh, I was attending the rally. Um, it seemed initially like firecrackers went off um, it was a little it was very confusing initially because you know I knew it was gunfire but I couldn't quite tell where it was coming from it sounded like it was coming from behind the bleachers man hey man check it man I had to really really think about doing this one I was like ah, I don't know you know cuz I'm not much into the politics man um, but I am into people's lives you know um, I hate to see anybody uh, I'm for the whole human race um, definitely don't want to see people you know, going through what these people had to endure today. Um, I get it, you know, I know some people that, you know, why, why do you even care? You know, I do care, I care about people. Um, don't wanna see nobody that, innocent people that get shot on. You know, I may not agree with what they believe in or anything else, but I have a problem with people um, being, anything happening to one's family. This person might not have their father to come home tonight, or this person may not have their mother to come home tonight because somebody did something that they didn't even know was going to happen. I've met a lot of people that support Trump. I've met a lot of people that support Biden. I've met a lot of people. I talk to everybody. I try to be on the up and up with everybody, no matter what color, race, creed, no matter what. I'm always trying to be help people to put a smile on their face or just to give them some confident words. I'm not the type of person that wish any bad or harm to nobody, man. Um, what these people endured today was not something that I would wish upon my worst enemy. I just ask that, you know, everybody, all parties involved, including Trump, you know, that, you know, that God, I pray for their families. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not big on politics. You know me, my favorite thing is, no matter what they're going through, don't concern me, because whatever they do when they get in office, it never do help me to do nothing. I have to run boss talk one-on-one, -on -one, work on my job, pay my mortgages on all my homes, whatever I got going. But it never is something to where I feel like it's so effective. Whether they bump taxes up a little bit or bring taxes down a little bit, it just doesn't affect me in a way to where I can say the man is holding me back. I hold me back if somebody get held back. So I sit back and I try to figure out ways to complement this situation by helping to educate my children to not be moved by any situation that may happen around them or my wife or anybody, you know, or my neighbor, anybody I get a chance to talk to. I call it talking some say witness to. But I'm always trying to keep them on up and up to let them know, man, you can make it through no matter what. But to see these people have to go through what they had to go through today, um, I don't wish that upon nobody. I see where Trump, you know, he got, it could have been fatal for him. He got hit in, in the ear. Um, they say something, uh, now this also, also early on, one got shot in the head, this one got hit here, this one, you know, got, this other one got hit, you know. I don't know that problem, but I do know, like I say again, I'm for the human race. I never forget, I seen two guys uh, when I was at work, when the Twin Towers got hit. It was one guy said, F those Yankees. And another guy that was standing close by said, man, my auntie 
and my uncle live up there, man. And they got into an all-out fight. Two white guys because of one not caring about the human race. I care about the human race. I'm for people, all people. Um, I know everybody want to hear my united speech, but at some point we got to wake up, man. We all in this thing together. We all need each other. I know already a lot of times people talk down or make jokes and gestures about the other races. And I'm not, I'm just not with it. I'm not with it. You know, um, <laughs> some of the people I interview, they say whatever. I interview. That don't mean I agree. So a lot of times I'm just listening. Overall, I'm an unbiased journalist. But at the end of the day, I'm here to be an example in a way in somebody's life that can make their day better, that can make their day brighter. That's what boss talk is about. That's what boss talk has been about. So it don't matter who you are, what religion you might be in, no matter who you are, no matter if you are handicapped, blind, in prison, about to go to prison, uh, anything that you've been going through, if I can be an example or a way in your life to help you, that's what Boss Talk 101 is. So when I look and see those people getting shot on TV, it, it shakes me because I want to see all the human race the, made to be a better place every day. So shout out to all those guys, the ones who I was listening to their films. One of them I didn't know. One of them was like ABC or something. But man, like I said, I'm just here to say, man, I'm praying for America. I'm praying for every situation, every family that might be going through something tonight because of that. Anybody that was shook out there at that rally, anybody that felt like they wanted to give up, felt like they was going to be next, felt like mentally traumatized, and anybody that might be wanting to try to take their life tonight because of what they witnessed out there, I'm here for them to say, man, you can do it. Keep going. No matter who you go for, if you're rallying for Trump, if you're rallying for Biden, if you're rallying for peace, if you're, if you're rallying, rallying for whatever, I'm just saying, man, let there be peace in this world. That's all. You now you could say, uh, I fear or whatever, it ain't like that. All I'm saying is we need to do better, bro. As people, as a human race, we need to do better. So, hey, get in the comments, tell me what you think. Um, man. That's all I wanted to say. I wasn't going to say nothing at all, but I decided I want to speak on it, man. God bless America, man. I'm here. I definitely, my kids is here. Let's get it. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.